Welcome to Zoological World today we are discuss about Mickey. While they're believed to share ancestry with the Shih Tzu, Yorkshire Terrier, and Japanese Chin, the exact lineage of the Mickey isn't entirely known. It was first introduced by breeder Maureen Van Wormer, also known as Mickey Mackin, from Wisconsin. The toy-sized Mickey didn't come into existence until the 1980s, but this rare breed is a treasured commodity among many dog owners. Their small size belies a big personality and an oversized affection for humans of any stripe. They won't make the best guard dog, but they're the perfect choice as a family dog or a therapy dog, and their petite stature and low energy levels mean that they can be perfectly comfortable in a small apartment. Available in a variety of different colors, including black, mahogany, blue, and beige, they can often get mistaken for a dog that's more fashion accessory than a companion. That would be a mistake. These dogs are highly intelligent, emotionally aware, and eager to have a purpose. In fact, their personalities have been frequently compared to the domestic house cat. Mickey Common Health Issues Mickey are cute dogs, but the same unique characteristics that have been bred to make them cute can also contribute to specific health risks. Their short muzzles are a particular issue. Respiratory issues are common in this breed and can take the form of snoring, difficulty breathing, or swallowing. This is standard in toy-sized dogs like the Pomeranian and in snub-nosed dogs like the English Bulldog, but it can also lead to inactivity and eventual obesity. In case of serious respiratory issues, a veterinarian may recommend the removal of fluid from the lungs. Another common characteristic this dog shares with other toy-sized breeds is its small mouth. You'll need to brush their teeth more regularly than the average canine, and it can be beneficial to make sure that they have healthy and size-appropriate bones to chew on. This breed is generally healthy as far as purebreds go, but you should keep out an eye for a couple of issues that are common among all breeds. Patellar luxation, or a dislocated kneecap, is relatively common. They may also be threatened by hypothyroidism and eyelash issues. Look out for these conditions when caring for a Mickey. Respiratory issues Dental issues Patellar luxation Hypothyroidism Eyelash conditions Mickey size and weight. As a toy breed, Mickey is one of the smallest dogs around. If you're looking for a dog that you can carry with you or one that can live comfortably in a smaller apartment, a Mickey might be the right breed for you. The average Mickey stands just underneath a foot tall and weighs as much as 10 pounds. How to take care of Mickey this breed largely abides by the same care standards as other toy breeds like the Shih Tzu or Maltese, but they also have their own unique eccentricities. Here's everything you need to know about caring for a Mickey from the moment you get them for adoption. Mickey Maintenance and Grooming Whether they're black, white, or tan, Mickey has beautiful and lustrous coats. Fortunately, they're not prone to shedding and don't require exhaustive grooming. Breeders suggest regular brushing to remove dead hair and skin and prevent tangles. These dogs only need to be bathed occasionally, but be sure to use conditioner to rescue them from the risk of tangles and make future grooming easier. Mickey need to have their ears cleaned and their nails trimmed as much as the average dog, but special care needs to be given to their teeth. Combine regular teeth cleanings at home with scheduled visits to a professional. Bones and toys designed to promote dental health are a recommended part of their ordinary routine. Mickey training. Many smarter dogs have a tendency to stubbornly resist training, but Mickey is fortunate to combine razor-sharp intelligence with a sweet desire to please. They take to training quickly and tend to learn the fundamentals of obedience quickly. But continued training will help keep their minds engaged and their bodies healthy. The bar for teaching them tricks or even disciplines like agility training is very high. MI key can be effectively trained to use a litter box as well. Proper socialization should be a part of a Mickey's training from early on, and it should continue throughout their life. Mickey are friendly dogs, but they may need to learn how to interact in crowded environments. Socialization can help with that, and it can also keep them properly stimulated and happy.